Hello Aquarians and welcome to your reading. So I channeled a song by Seal and it's Kiss from a Rose. But before I get into all that, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here and I'm going to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you guys are having a great Friday if you happen to see this when it comes out. Um, but real quick, you know, a lot of synchronicities came to me in this song. And it's, this song came out, I think, in 95. Um, it was a really big hit when it came out. I remember when it came out. I was actually falling in love at the time. It was a perfect time for this song to come out for me. I met the father of my children. Um, didn't know it at that point yet, but I was, I was in love. It was a beautiful time. And this kind of embodies that. And it's like now that your rose is in bloom, a light hits the gloom on the gray. And I took this so many different ways because in the beginning of the song it talks about um, there's a tower um, on the gray and in the pre-shuffle I even got the tower it talks about um, when the snow uh, my, my eyes become large or whatever in the snow and I can't see your light so much came to me about divine feminine energy empress energy the yin energy and you can be in a male or female body when that happens and it talks about now that your light is in bloom the light hits the gloom on the gray and for me you can take you can I will put the song with the lyrics in the description box you can take it how you want um, if you even want to check out the lyrics at all but I took it as a lot of the yin energy are coming into their true yin energy and that is an energy that attracts that is an energy that sheds light and love okay upon the earth and that is what they recognize in you but when the snow was abundant they couldn't see and I took the snow as choices as options now I'm not deciphering what the person who sang the song meant I'm deciphering it for myself so um, I'm not looking up the meaning of the song. This is the meaning for me. That's why I say always get your own meaning, your own interpretation. But I took it as there was so much abundance or choice that a person couldn't see your light. Someone didn't see your light or your value. We don't even have to say light. We can say value. They didn't recognize you. So if you've had past lives, which I feel strongly so, because they would have recognized your essence. Let's think of light as essence. And they didn't recognize your essence because they were distracted, let's say metaphorically, by the snow. They were distracted by other things in their environment. So I got a lot of synchronicities with this, um, with this song. I woke up with it. As soon as I woke up, it hit me. And I had a really good rest. So you take it for how you want to. I brought my love oracles out. I'm going to close out with the um, the chakra and the uh, crystal cards to see what might be helpful. I'm going to say a quick prayer, then we'll just get right into the reading. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings you've given to all of us that are here. I definitely want to thank you for the beautiful souls you've brought my way through my channels and otherwise. Thank you so much. I also want to ask for protection for ourselves and our loved ones, protection from harm, illness, evil eye, whatever it is that we need protection from. And I'd like to also ask for an extra blanket of love to go around those who are being affected by the war, uh, no, matter, no matter where, no matter how they're being affected. I would also like to ask for permission, permission to see clearly the messages, the divine messages that need to come through this reading today to help those who need it. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And uh, keep that in mind. This is a general reading. Roles can be reversed. I'm just reading the energy that's coming up for this reading for Aquarius. Okay. So let's get into it. I did a pre-shuffle and what came out was holiday... Um, holiday time and getting to know one another so maybe some of you are going to be acquainted with a person by the next holiday or what is a significant holiday for you show me what I need to see for this reading 
let your friends help you. You might meet someone through a friend. You might be getting um, over someone with a, you know, through a friend. And we have let go of control issues. So these are totally different than what came out. But on the bottom, we have worth waiting for. Anything else? Any I'm only taking what's face up. Okay, not taking face down. On the bottom, new love. So we have a few different things going on here. We have on the bottom of the deck, we do have new love. So for some of you, this is a new love. And then we also, I see reconciliation, but also reconciliation can mean past lives because it can also even be this current life because like in the song, um, they didn't recognize the light. They didn't realize they were being kissed by a rose until they saw the light. So maybe something happens. I did see a tower in my pre-shuffle. Something can happen to where someone sees who you are, your light. Um, and that's how they recognize you, like a beacon, you know, like a lighthouse, like a beacon. Let go of control issues. Let your friends help you. Some Someone may be coming forth to help you to get out of a situation that's been oppressive. Okay, vice versa. This can also go the other way around um, for someone if someone is recognizing your light. But either way, it's let your friends help you. You could also be that friend that is helping someone else. You can meet someone through friends. This person could be your friend that you're reconciling with that sees your light. This could be a friend that even turns into a romantic situation. I mean, I'm getting so many messages. And here it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Talk about flowers, okay? This person is out in the wilderness with flowers. Looks like they're giving flowers uh, to an angel statue. Maybe even some sort of, but it's positive thinking will bring you romance. Stay very optimistic about your love life if you're looking for love. We have forgiving and learning, okay, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present life. That can be you, it can be the other person, it can be, you know, not every single message may apply. These are just messages coming out. Someone may have had to um, forgive something of the past, and that's where reconciliation can happen, all right, with anyone. Someone may have had to let go of someone controlling somewhere, okay? Like I said, vice versa, you or them. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I think that you're going to have an opportunity to have a very beautiful conversation with someone, just you and them and no one else. You know, like cell phones off, out in nature, get away from the world, just you and them and a heart to heart. And then give your relationship a chance. So, you know... For some of you, this is a person who's special to you coming back around, but we did have new love on the bottom, so I don't want to, uh, you know, we got, you deserve love and we have new love on the bottom, so I don't want that to be uh, anything, I don't want anyone to get hooked on the past, okay? It's a general reading, so a lot of stuff's going to come out because there are people who watch who want a return and there are people who watch who want a, a new love, so I'm getting both messages. Now we got forgiveness. So I have two cards of forgiveness. So this is about forgiveness, either on your part or their part. Somebody somewhere may have to forgive something in order to have a decent uh, love life, in order to have love, okay? Someone could be holding on to stuff from their childhood, their past, the way things were between parents. Maybe someone was repeating even patterns, cycles in a family. Or this might literally be a person that wants forgiveness from you or vice versa, someone that you've dealt with, okay? And it says stop focusing energies on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So there's a lot about forgiving the past. There's a lot here about releasing control or controlling people. And like I said, vice versa, you or them. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For this is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So this is this basically is a decision that's going to be required to come from the heart for you and for them. And on the bottom we have healing. So imagine you and that person you want to heal with being healed. Because this could be, it's a broad spectrum guys. This could be love. This could be friendship. This can be families. Healing in general, the energy is right for healing. The energy is right for reconciliation. 
Uh, we have the moon energies that are strong that might affect people. We have eclipses coming up and healing. As I said, healing. You can't make this up, guys. The card of healing comes out, and we have the heart. This is a good time, possibly with the energies that are coming up. It might be a good time to heal things. And if and and when um, someone was telling me about Mercury retrograde coming up, you know, and sometimes we do see people temporarily during that retrograde. But think about things that can happen. A healing can happen. Closure can happen. A lot of positive things can happen. And we have a wish fulfillment. We have Aquarius energy on the bottom. We have the star card. This can talk about destiny. This can talk about, you know, something that's meant to happen. This can talk about your wish was heard. What you wanted was heard. It can even talk about star seeds, being from other places, longing, from ho longing for home, longing for heaven. Not necessarily being happy with the way things are currently. Give me another aspect to this reading. I do see the tower here, and that did want to come out. Someone may have a tower when they realize who you are to them, and vice versa. Yep, and some of you, it's a twin flame divine counterpart. Some of you, this is somebody who you've cut them off, they've cut you off, whatever. Let's, gonna, let's clarify this. But we do have a conversation here. We do have a conversation. We have maybe an offering of something small. I feel it's a conversation with retreat. I feel that page of pentacles is a conversation. Tell me about the four swords. Tell me about the four swords, please. Judgment. I made a mistake. It's in the reverse. Pluto energy, Scorpio energy. You guys could have that in your chart somewhere. They could, but we got the eight of cups going to the fool right here. There's a new beginning, and that did come out in the pre-shuffle. I got the Queen of Cups, and I got the Ace of Wands. There is a new beginning that's going to happen, all right, for you and another person. Um, or a beginning altogether, if you've not met this person. You might meet them through friends, okay, through helping someone, through charity work. But this is, for some of you, for the ones who want to heal things, this is someone who's like, I made a mistake. This is like, I didn't recognize your light even. I didn't recognize your light. But if you've not even met this person, if it's like a twin flame, you've not met them yet, I feel like you're going to have signs and synchronicities that it's them. It could be, um, they could have some Leo on their chart here. Tell me about the four wands reverse. We have the Five of Swords reverse, so that talks about wanting to make peace, okay? If you've never met this person, it would also say this is a peaceful kind of person, all right? This is not a person to gaslight you or play mind games, but we do have the Devil in reverse on the bottom, and the Devil in reverse is Capricorn energy, but it's also saying there could have been someone who had some sort of toxic um, history, and that toxic history could have been, they could have been a player. They could have been someone who cheated in relationships. They could have literally had Leo, Aries, or Sag in their chart. This could be someone you've dreamt about and never met. This could also be someone that you've dreamt about coming back and you have met them. Tell me about the sun card. Tell me about the sun card before we go into the, to the root. There's this page of pentacles conversation. I feel you're going to have a destined conversation with this person, whether you've met them or not. Okay. There's going to be a chance meeting, a conversation. There's going to be something, maybe even a message. Okay. Like I said, um, let your friends help you. This could be someone that you meet through friends. This could be someone uh, who sets you up on a blind date if you've not met your person. You could be going out with your friends. This could be someone who has uh, 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Gemini energy. This could be someone you meet during a Mercury retrograde even. This is a card of Mercury, but it's still a chance meeting. And even if it's temporary at first, if you're just meeting the person, it's because you were meant to meet them. There might be a break or a pause. There might be some distance and then a reconnecting later on if you've not met this person yet. If you do know who this person is, this person is going to want to communicate. This person may want to go out and have a, a drink or a meal or something and talk to you. That's going to be that retreat. That's also a person, if you've already met them and they want forgiveness or they want to come back, they're manifesting this with you. They want to have talk. They want to talk with you. For some of you, if this person didn't want to commit with the... Um, King of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Empress upright. See, so you're in the Empress energy, the Yen energy, if you are the Yen. And even if it's temporarily, like I say, they will want to come in and give an explanation of why, why this didn't happen. They're going to want to say something. Um, and it might be literally, I didn't know who you were to me. I didn't recognize your light. I see it now. Some of them might say, I had some toxic things going on in my life. You know, it was the right, you were the right person, but the wrong time. And it can be closure for some people. It can be. Tell me, why are we here? What's the root of this? It's a very hard, it's a heart to heart conversation. Things fall into place. So I meant, I think you're meant to have a conversation with this person. You guys have just written it in the stars. Okay, you've written it in your birth chart to have a conversation. You guys are meant to have a conversation. Even if it's a conversation for closure. Even if it's a destined meeting for a person you've never met before. You planned it. And even if it's to heal things, you planned it. So there's definitely, it seems, what's very strong and prominent for what all three scenarios, whether you met them, haven't met them, a reconciliation, there's a conversation. And it's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a bullshit conversation. It's real. It's heart-to-heart. It's -heart. Feelings to feelings. Tell me about that. Yeah. For some of you, they're going to be like, um, you know, I couldn't go through with this. I was nervous. I was afraid. I was scared. I was intimidated. I've been hurt before. I don't want to be hurt again. That's if this is a returned person. Okay. And if this is a new person that you haven't met, we have the Two of Cups reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups. You guys haven't met each other yet because Five of Wands is reversed. You me you're meant to meet them through friends or through something there, through networking or whatever. Again, this person has been through a lot. All right. This person can come off as... Um, sort of being maybe maybe wanting not wanting to necessarily be a player but someone who doesn't want to settle down because they don't want to get hurt so if you meet a new person um, by the next holiday that's important for you this might be a person who is your future person but you guys are just going to sort of get to know each other or or meet or it's like an initial meeting or something like that but someone appears not to be the type who wants to settle down really this person's been hurt there could be, um, you could date, and then maybe there's a pause, or you could have conversation or a friendship, um, and it may not be consistent at first, but then later on, it could, all right? It could. Tell me about the past energy. If there's any past here, tell me about the past energy. All right, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, and it landed here on this page of Pentacles. So for those of you where this is a person who wants to apologize or say that, you know, have a heart to heart and say why they did what they did. This person, remember the devil wanted to come out in reverse. This could have been a person who was a little bit too indulgent, indulgent and, and, and sex partners indulgent and putting things in their body to alter their perception, they could have been indulgent. And for others of you, you've not met this person at all. 
yet. You've not had a conversation, not a single one. But I feel that they will notice you. Anyway, your light is going to be noticed. And your light is going to change this person. And whether you've met them or not, it seems like they notice you first. Because your light is shining so bright. So this is an indicator as well to say, no matter what is going on in your life, if you want to be with someone just to be in a relationship and you're not valuing your own energy, that's not really shining your brightest light from within. That's a little bit of codependent energy. But most of you know that. Most of you guys, I've seen your comments. You guys have done the work. A lot of this is the other energy. But if anyone is not in their energy of their empress energy, their yin energy, whether it's a man or a woman, that's knowing your power, your boundaries. And it's not about being assertive and controlling. That is about operating from love, loving yourself, and you have love to give and love to share. And it's that kind of light that's so bright, it's a beacon that you, you can't miss it. It's like a ship that goes ashore because they see the beacon in the lighthouse. They see where to go. That's the Empress light. That's the yin energy right there. That's the energy to always be in or to strive for because it brings everything that's meant for you. It does bring some things that aren't meant for you because everything is drawn to it. But you'll be in the energy of love and you're going to have that discernment. Give me a card for the Nine of Cups reverse. The Hermit. We have the Emperor. We have Aries. We have Virgo. We have a Two of Cups in the reverse. So for the ones who this is going to require forgiveness or someone who wants to reconnect, someone who wants you to give them another chance, this is a person who now can follow the light. You see how the hermit is shining the light? Well, if that light switches off, they can't see. If this was a person who was overindulgent in sex, drugs, alcohol, food, whatever, they couldn't see the light. But now they see the light and they're also turning on their own light. Okay, so this is the recent past energy. But like I said, if you've never met this person, they're going to be drawn to your light. They're going to be drawn to that Empress energy, that Yin energy, that attracting energy. And it is a Divine Masculine. It is a Yang. So it's a high level soulmate. It's a star seed. Or it could be your actual twin flame, which is your soul in a whole nother body. Having a whole nother set of experiences that are similar to yours, but different. What crowns this? What crowns this? Justice. Justice. Libra energy. We have a full moon in Libra. Some of this might happen around that, but it's about justice. It's also about karma, right? And karma not meaning what's coming to you, but karma as the actions you choose. Because all the actions that we choose are karma, right? It talks about actions. And it talks about doing the right action. What's fair, what's balanced. And for those of you who've not been in contact with a person who wants to return, it's the yang energy that's thinking the right thing to do is to come forward and reach out and just say something. That's the right thing to do. Whether we move forward, whether we become friends, whether we become lovers, whether we work together, because in the pre-shuffle I got a lot about working together, even on projects, not necessarily romantic. But a, an energy that wants to come towards you or a yang that wants to come towards a yen is, is saying, look, it, it, the right thing to do is to at least reach out. That's the right thing. And this could end up being a text message um, that hasn't happened. And depending on the response, this chariot could something then come forward and there could be a heart to heart. Like someone could reach out and just say, hey, can we just talk? Can we get some time alone to talk? And that's where it's literally... You, them, no cell phones. But it's also about, like I said, your actions. If you're invited to go out with some friends or if you're invited to do some charity work, if you're invited to be where there are other people at, so 
I saw that five of wands in the reverse. And it could be it means for me, five of wands in the reverse is about other people, but it's not a stressful environment. Like it's something you want. It's not chaotic or stressful. But if it were stress, it's good stress. It's like a party or it's an, an event where you're doing something and it's for the good or whatever. If you have an opportunity like that, that would be your action, deciding to do that. And you might meet you might meet your forever person doesn't mean that it starts off and you guys are living together two days later it means you meet them something happens conversation maybe there's a break in pause and time and maybe you guys talk again a little later or maybe it continues i don't know it's different for everyone this is a general reading tell me about the justice yeah conversation oh there's something hidden so two meanings here for the ones who haven't met this person, you guys will have a nice conversation. It will be a very nice exchange of words. For those of you that this person wants to heal things, three of swords, they could be there could be a lot of pain that they're experiencing behind this conversation. You wouldn't know about it. And their energy is to do the right thing, to do the right action, and it and it's to just reach out and talk. And they could have caused you pain. But they're in pain now because they want to correct something. They want to do the right thing. What's the near future? Whoever this person is, whether you've met them or not, they're going to see your light and they're going to want to do right by you. Your light is very bright. Kind of like this. I'm drawn to the sun card. Your light is very bright, like blinding. This person can't miss this, right? This light is blinding. That is how your light is going to be for this person. Your light is so blinding that this person just wants to be in your energy, by your side, with you. Show me the near future. We have the five of swords that this landed on. And like I said, I'm feeling like portal energy, like the time is right. Could be during these eclipses that we're going to have. It could be whenever. It's the time. You're going to know it because it'll happen. It'll just be planned. Destiny. It'll fall into place here. And it's going to happen. So in the near future, and the, the, the um, eclipses are in the near future, but there's like this new beginning. Even if there's an opportunity to travel for you or for them, they could also be traveling. Um, but it's the right opportunity. If this is a person from the past who was hooked up in a bad situation, that person realizes in this Pisces energy and this Libra energy, they know precisely, precisely what needs to get cut out. And it's a, it's, a, it's a negative energy, okay? Whether you or them. In the near future, somebody knows exactly what needs to be cut out and cut off. And then somebody also knows exactly what to do for this new beginning. So this is about endings and beginnings. And that's exactly what eclipses do. It's a portal. It's a portal for endings and beginnings, depending on, you know, when they happen. And what they're for, what you know, I'm not an astrologer. There are plenty of you guys out here who do that, but this is portal energy for me because it's actually what I'm, I heard when I saw the card. So it might be very clear to you or to them what needs to get cut out. If you've not met this person, it's very clear of what you need to do. If you need to travel, if you're trying to get away from a situation, you get around a new group of people, then you get aligned with these people who are meant for you and vice versa. If you meet somebody who has gotten away from a group of people who has maybe traveled here to where you're at, um, same for them. Like All this is really being activated here soon. It's the time. The time is right. The time is right for healing and mending. The time is right for meeting the new person. Change. Activations are happening. And it's time to act on these activations. Tell me about this near future. Yep. 
So regardless, if you've met them or not, if you're reconciling or it's a brand new person, it's a very high level connection. It's a spiritual connection. It's a higher timeline. And it's a connection where I feel that you're doing something spiritual together. I feel that it was just, it, it doesn't matter. You guys wrote this even when you were in heaven. Usually there's two people here. There's a teacher. There's students. The time is right. Either lessons have been learned and it's time to go to the next level. It's also, for me, a next level card. And for some of you, it happens after a tower with a karmic Aries Leo Sag could possibly be, but definitely a karmic. And then that's when this change comes in for you or for them. Okay? But it aligns you. It aligns you with a new person or reconciles you with someone you were meant to reconcile with. If you're not wanting to reconcile, it automatically aligns you with a new person. If you're wanting to reconcile with a divine masculine, Yang energy, chances are right for that too. What's the self position? <clears throat> As my throat's getting scratchy and that happens with divine masculine energy for me. <clears throat> I can't help it. All right. So the, the self position is somebody feels left out in the cold, somebody has ascended, somebody understands what the connection is, what the purpose is, where the destination is supposed to head to. Okay, someone gets this. Pluto energy, judgment. All right. We have strength card in reverse. And we have the six of wands in reverse. So someone is feeling very, someone's feeling weak. Or somebody is having an ego death, dark night of the soul type of stuff. It can also be somebody has recently gotten out of a tower moment or will. And it does cause them to um, do something and you guys can meet through friends. If you've not met this person, you can meet them through friends, literally going out. But if you know this person, they've ascended, they've grown they don't feel your energy anymore they could have definitely had some sort of ego death not a person who wants attention all the time this could have been a person who got a lot of attention had a lot of eyes on them and this is a person now it just doesn't matter because you know what in the in the real deal of things it doesn't matter how good you look it's nice to look good but that's not what life is about right we don't take our looks with us when we go to heaven we don't so somebody is going through that ego death of like it's not about what I look like it's not about how many people give me attention it's not about my ego being fed somebody gets that and it has a lot to do with this person who wants to return because they're feeling left out in the cold and like I said that could be it's a high level soulmate it could be it could be a twin flame I've got those cards out here it's a close connection it could be a Gemini it could be family but this is a person who wants to reconcile with you. This can be a reconcile card. And this can be a card of meeting someone for the first time with your friends or through your friends. Or in a group of people. And it's harmonious. So I've got two timelines here. I hope that I've been very clear to this point. Some of you are meeting a new, brand new person that has potential. Okay, you guys wrote this in your chart. And some of you are reconciling with a with a person who did not recognize who you are. They didn't know. They couldn't see the forest from the trees at the time. Yeah, the lovers reverse the four ones. Someone realizes, you know, that basically they betrayed their twin flame someone realizes this that's for the return person and for the person that you've not met this person yet this person goes through a betrayal you guys align something else they went through something else not with you external to you what is in the environment
see a lot of people talk negative about their twin flame and um you know i had moments where i was angry at mine too but when i realized what a twin flame was it was just my soul and another body i realized everything i did um was doing it to myself they were just in another body i was just born here first i learned some things before they did and they learned some things before i did i'm spiritually rooted they're rooted in the physical world of money and finance I'm not mad at my twin, but there are a lot of people who are very much still mad, angry, and have a, a mis have a, a conception of what it's supposed to be like. And um, it's a spiritual connection before anything else. The environment is Page of Swords. Okay, it's inquisitive. It's a card of knowledge. It's a card of learning. Somebody wants to know something here. Possibly someone wants to know if you'll reconnect with them if they reach out. Okay. Um, but this is also, like I said, if you've not met this person, you can meet them while you're learning something in a group. All right. A seminar. Anything. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Yeah. It could be, for some of you, it could be a quick chance encounter, all right? Um, you know, you could meet them, and you don't connect with them, and you might see them again, maybe at another event or when you're with your friends again, all right? It's not going to be consistent at first when you fir first meet this person, or you could have an idea that this person is... You know, they could be Sagittarius or have it in their chart, but you could get this impression of them that they might not be consistent. You could get this impression of them that they might be a player um, because maybe they talk really smooth. Maybe they look really good or maybe, you know, it's it could be even an impression. All right. This could be someone who, um, if you've never met them, they come on to you. Right. And you're kind of like, you might be like, you know, I'm not that kind of person. You can't just come on to me like that. They might come on strong. Right. Flirting heavy or being sort of pushy, asking you out or something like that. And it could be someone you have to, you know, say no to. So that's another indicator if you've never met this person. But for a person who is returning, wanting to reconcile, a person who seemed like they've gone through the dark night of the soul, they recognize who you are, this is also, this would be your energy of wanting to know, are they still in that energy? Are they still immature or have they learned? Tell me about the hopes and the fears. Tell me about the hopes and the fears. So you've got to make it clear, you've got two energies, a return and a new person. Some it's a return, some it's a new person. You want something solid in your life. You want someone solid. You want someone who matches your energy. If you're in an energy of taking care of yourself, you want someone who's in that energy. If you're looking for long term, you want someone who's in that energy. You're in an energy of knowing what you want. And you want to draw in that too. Okay? And possibly long term. And, you know, this is whether it's someone you've met or not met. It's the hope and the fear. But strong probability of working on projects with this person. Even the person who returned, you guys um, could end up doing something together. And think about that for a second. Think about if an opportunity comes from a person who returns to work together on a project with them. Think about what kind of project it would be consider all the aspects and wonder and ask yourself if this is divine like it was meant to be like this what kind of project is it but if you've never met this person you could be meeting them working together on a project these projects can be temporary and you come back together even as content creators and stuff like that you know um, working together on a project not seeing each other maybe for several months and then again that's if it's a new person.
What's the outcome look like? The High Priestess. You're going to have to use your own discernment. Follow your own intuition here. You're going to have to follow your intuition. You're going to be doing a lot of thinking about this person. Whether they're brand new in your life or it's a return. Okay? You're going to be wondering, did they really go through the dark night of the soul? Did they really heal? Are they the same person? Should I take them back? If it's a new person, they're going to have you in your head as well. Either way, new or old, this person's already in your energy. That's why they're showing up. They're already, this is metaphysical energy. It's the 5D. It's astral travel. It's knowing without knowing, right? Nobody told you, but you know. A lot of twin flames have that energy of knowing. Um, so, you're going to have a lot to think about. Should I give this person a chance? Basically, whether it's the new person or the old person. Should I give this person a chance? And I am going to reiterate. If you don't want the old person, this is a new person. It's a new high-level soulmate. If you want to fix things with a twin flame, high chance for that. Or a friend or a family member, high chance for that. Give me a card to clarify the Hermit. Well, that came out on the Page of Swords. Four of Pentacles. So you're going to take your time to think about it. You're not going to reveal your cards all up front. Okay? You're going to think before you speak. Page of Cups in reverse. Especially if this is a return. Eight of Cups reverse. There is a person who may return and be very generous, uh, wanting to give in this, you know, after time of sadness and regret. But if they're coming toward you, you're not going to, you're going to think before you speak, okay? You're just going to think before you speak. You're not going to answer right away because you're going to put thoughts, uh, you're going to think before you speak clearly. And if this is a new person, tell me if this is a new person. How will Aquarius know? They could be someone who travels. They may have just traveled from here. They may pursue you pretty hard. Like I said, they're going to come off like a player. I think because they're really going to want to get to know you. And they might pursue you to be like, hey, let's go out. Or hey, this or hey, that. And you may just think they want sex. Um, they could be returning even from a place. They could have just gotten out of a situation. Fixed energy, it's the world card here. It's the world card. Um, but it's not over between you. It's not over between you. And it is, like I said, fixed energy. Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo energy. Strong travel around the new person. Okay, strong travel energy around the new person. Um... I don't think you're expecting it, okay? I think you've been in your healing modality, um, healing from the type of people that you don't want in your life, narcissistic people, liars or whatever, healing from that um, type of energy. Okay. Tell me about the High Priestess. So this is knowing what's not good for you. This is, some of you know you got it cut out in Aries, Leo, Sag. But some of you know um, there's been a situation that isn't right for you. All right. Third party. Some of you are going to be wondering, like I said, have they changed? If this is a return, did they cut out the third party before you go forward? Because you don't want to be like this again. You've gotten yourself out of the energy of being depressed. Okay, and before you move forward, this is only going to be for the ones who want to take the person back into their life. You're going to want to know they cut out the other energy, whether this is a lover, a twin flame, a friend, a family member. You're going to want to know they cut out that energy because you've worked on your energy and you've worked on getting yourself out of that slump and you don't want to go back. All right. 
let's close out. I hope I was very clear between the two different storylines. It's going to come down to whether you believe them or not, either storyline, uh, because the new person is going to feel like a player. Is they're probably going to pursue pretty hard, and the old person, you're going to wonder if they got uh, out of that energy. So there's a lot of discernment that's going to have to be used. <laughs> is this person being for real or not? Give me some advice. All right, we got three cards that came out. Black Obsidian. I know this is for protection from negativity. Third Chakra, which is Divine Masculine Chakra. We, we pulled it out the other day. It's the um, um, Solar Plexus Chakra and Aquamarine. Let me look up the meanings. I'll be right back. Okay. Black Obsidian, and it is uh, the Root Chakra. Color is black. Keyword is grounding. So it's a stone that's good for grounding. Um, but I do know that it's also good for protection from negativity, okay? And it says, Obsidian is a natural glass formed by volcanic gas. Like a volcano, it promotes the reemergence of emotions in a powerful way so that we can transform them from the dark and nebulous side to the bright and evolved side. It promotes rooting in those people who struggle to keep their feet on the ground anchored to reality with a tendency towards instability. So this is good for grounding and for rooting, um, grounding someone here. All right. Aquamarine, I believe it is March, right? Uh, March birthstone. And we have here throat chakra. So it's about speaking. So there, regardless, there's a conversation that you're going to have, whether it's a new person or a return person. There's a destined conversation that's going to happen here. And it says, it's about emotions. And that's where this page of cups came out. Okay, you guys are going to speak honestly to each other. And it's coming across a transparent blue. Um, I don't know this word. Chalcedony? I don't know. C-H-A-L-C-E-D-O-N-Y. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's like putting your head under water and admiring the depths of the sea with its blurred contour. So I guess it's like you can't see it clearly, right? This variety of quartz precisely transmits the ability of water to flow, especially when we need to meet our emotions. It facilitates those tears that have not flowed for a long time. It helps to relieve the emotional pressure that would otherwise cause damage to the inside of our body. So it helps to get rid of emotions. So there's a lot about grounding, getting rid of these emotions. What it talks about here, healing. First card out was healing. So um, I like that. And the third card that came out. And it's, you know, Pi we are in Pisces season still, right? Yeah, I think we're still in Pisces season, so that's going to help maybe clear out these emotions. And then we have the third chakra, and it says, solar plexus, color golden yellow, and keywords is I am. The third chakra is connected to the male principle characterized by the inclination to being active, linked to construction and destruction. Construction and destruction. The energy center gives you the ability to manifest your power with its initial, initially internal so that you can achieve personal achievement. So I get this Empress energy off this. This is also about being in your yin energy. If you are the yin, being in your Empress energy, whether you're a man or a woman, there's a conversation that's going to happen. Stay in your yin energy, your energy of attracting, your energy of love and abundance. And there is a return person and there's a new person. So if you want an older person to come back, um, a twin flame, there could be closure with that or reconnection. And if you're not wanting anything from the past, there is new love coming in and you're not going to see it. You've not met this person yet. So two, two storylines here. Ground yourself, get in touch with your emotions, and operate from your yin energy, the I am. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for coming into the chat and namaste, my friends.